Hey, good evening everybody. Welcome into the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel Saturday night. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Just a quick update on the sales tax situation. Uh, it was an announcement from the state of Alabama that they're going to require $250,000 as a minimum threshold to have to pay sales tax for uh, sellers that are out of state and apparently dozens of other states, multiple other states from the rumors and reports that I'm seeing are going to follow suit with that. Now Alabama is passed, that is done. So what does that mean? If you do not live in Alabama and you sell items to customers in Alabama, you only owe sales tax if you do more than $250,000 inside of Alabama, not nationwide, not all of your sales. It has to be inside Alabama. Um, same with South Dakota that did 100,000 or 200 transactions. So Alabama is going to be a quarter of a million dollars inside of the state and apparently their layout is going to follow suit with many, many other states. So what does this mean? It looks good that the new sales tax law that passed, just like I told you guys, we had to wait to see how each state played it out and they're gonna play it out over the next couple of weeks and months. So by the end of the year, we should know pretty much where every state um, rests on this issue and what limit they're gonna put in. Now there's no saying that maybe tomorrow Texas wakes up and says, if you sell $1, you owe sales tax in our state, and then we would be responsible for it. But it looks like most of the states, if not all of them, remember there are 45 of them, because five don't have income tax, uh, it looks like they're going to set some sort of threshold and that most of those thresholds are going to be six figures and that is per state, each state, um, or some amount of transactions that you probably mostly do not hit. South Dakota is 200 transactions, uh, some places maybe four or five or 600, and some places maybe 50 or 100. Either way, how many items did you sell to South Dakota last year? Probably not a whole lot. How many did you sell to North Dakota? How many did you sell to Montana, how many did you sell to Vermont? Um, these are kind of states that you won't really have to worry about. Maybe you sold a bunch to California and they require it over 200 transactions. We don't know yet, but it could be that there are one or two states that you're gonna be responsible for. Chances are it's not gonna happen, but I just wanted to give you guys that update. Um, we'll check out my computer in a second, but uh, it looks good for small sellers that are doing less than at least a couple hundred thousand, you should be good to go. Even if you're doing a few hundred thousand, you're not doing it all in one state, you're doing 300,000 spread out between 50 states. So to hit those kind of numbers, like a quarter of a million in Alabama, that's somebody that's gotta be doing millions of dollars in sales unless all of their product are weirdly going to Alabama. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If it doesn't, comment down below, I'll try to explain it better or other people are welcome to comment and explain it. Let's go over to my computer. I'll show you the little story. We'll wrap up this video, but I did just want to give you guys this update because I feel like it's very important and I don't want anyone to stress about paying the sales tax when everything is pointing towards being good to go unless you're a big big seller the states want you know tax checks for a million dollars they don't want you to send them a hundred dollars although they would like that money uh, it looks good for us as small sellers all right, so here's a ruling from Alabama, and they're gonna start this October 1st, which is the beginning of third quarter. So you're gonna owe Alabama third quarter tax. Now, I don't know if Alabama's website requires you to do monthly or quarterly. My thought is quarterly because they're gonna start doing it on the beginning of third quarter, October 1st, but they have not put a unit, a number of items sold threshold in. It is simply a $250,000 in sales um, from the Alabama Department of Revenue must register with the Alabama Simplified Sellers Use Tax Program, SSUT, and start collecting no later than October 1st. I'm not sure when you will have to pay them or when you will have to report. You'll have to go on their website and register. But if you're not doing more than $250,000, you don't have to worry about it. Only those of you that are inside of Alabama will. You have to still pay it if you do $1 because you're you're in Alabama. This is just for sellers that are outside of Alabama who do not have a presence in Alabama, or maybe they do have a presence. Either way, out of state people have to do more than 250. If you're in state, if you do $2, then you're gonna have to report your taxes. Um, <clears throat> it's already being utilized by Amazon and they pay a flat 8%, which makes it easy for them, rather than navigating the 200 city and county sales tax uh, across Alabama. 4% uh, goes to the state, 2% goes to the counties, and 2% goes to the cities. Um, there's more than 230 companies already 
um, doing sales tax in Alabama. It says Amazon paid $60 million. The other companies are HelloFresh, Overstock, Spotify, and Ikea, all with presences in Alabama, or obviously doing way more than 250000 in one state, of course. Um, so the Supreme Court decision from South Dakota last week made this happen. Again, unless you're doing 250 in Alabama, there's no threshold of the number of items that you have to sell, only the money. Uh, you'll have to start reporting October 1st and then paying whenever their sales tax period ends. Uh, I'll have to look it up. I'll try to put it in the comment section. I believe that Alabama is quarterly, um, especially with a program like this. I can't imagine they would do it monthly. It would be way too much work and too much uh, reporting. So I'm going to guess that you would collect October, November, December, and pay in January. You'll have to check again the website for the exact date. In Florida, ours are due usually around like the 17th or 18th of the month. Um, so we collect for – we just got done collecting – for um april may and june and we have to pay it by like july 17th or 18th which i'm getting ready to pay uh like next week so there you go there's your story hopefully most of the states will follow suit with this there won't be any states that require it um, for such a small amount or for you know like one sale but otherwise just keep an eye out and as the states uh continue to announce their rulings and their their thresholds or their money amount I will update them on this channel. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you turn notifications on. And hopefully your state will be soon. Hopefully they'll, they'll all report before the end of 2018 and we'll have this information um, complete. Once they're all reported, I'll put together one big post or one big PDF um, to list the states and what you have to pay, what you don't have to pay, the thresholds, etc. So thanks guys so much. Enjoy the weekend and I'll see you next time.